Hello, welcome to another video. So we're back down here in the basement again. So uh, we were just playing Path of Exile for a bit, and then I thought maybe maybe we should take a break from it. People aren't actually wa watching the uh, watching the show as much as I thought they would be. So we did also go and uh, buy some more things, and uh, we uh, did make our order here today. But we did finish like uh, organizing these. This was the last thing I did. Then, because this like uh, took so long, I didn't want to start them anymore. But essentially, we have, like uh, all of them sleeved up, like uh, packs of four. And then I could organize them, put them in the box, and keep count of them. And, uh, maybe I was thinking of putting them in some binders. Uh, so you have like all the comments here sorted out. Then we have the uncommons here. Then I know that we had uh, this set over here. We had uh, set 105. Set 105, which I think is like uh, probably one of the best artworks. There's like so, so, so many good artworks in these sets here. Uh, I guess we have to sort out the Hollow Live sets. Uh, organize all those. Get all these figured out. And we did go and uh, buy some other things. Like these uh, Gyarados uh, Premium Collection. The first time that we see these at like uh, EB Games, they, they seem pretty expensive. Well, I mean, like uh, we we always go to EB Games, then we check uh, Amazon the prices of everything. So we got the Gyarados Premium Collection, and we got two of them because we're we're trying to get to like a five thousand dollar membership. And we're actually getting pretty close there. I, I think we have like a. Uh, Maybe we can just have to spend like another 20 or 30 bucks or something. And then we get the 10% discount. <laughs> so, I think that we checked these like maybe a month ago or something. Maybe it was something like that. But these things, they're sold out on Amazon. And EB Games is discounting them, right? Because originally they were like 65 bucks. But uh, now they lower them down to 50 e. And if you get the Edge Platinum, if you get the... 10%, which we're pretty close to, it'd be 45 bucks. Uh, like we're saying, when we uh, checked Amazon, they're sold out, they're like 130 or something. Uh, so we finally got these. We didn't pick up the first time because Amazon had a whole bunch of stock, but uh, that's pretty much what we do. Go check uh, EB Games sometimes, then when they discount things, we're trying to sell it quick, we uh, buy it. So we got this, uh, Gyarados, uh, promo. So we're looking at that, that would be nice to get that, but it seemed, uh, expensive. They give you a cool magic card. Looks like they give you sleeves in here. I don't know what this is. is that a, uh, deck box? Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Then. They give you a lot of things. They give you, what, uh, six packs? Six packs of shiny Gyarados card, the magic card, a pack of sleeves, and maybe a deck box. That's actually a pretty good premium set. We do like that. That, that's pretty cool. The uh, sleeves look really cool, too. So we did pick up something else, too. We did pick up some booster boxes. And we also have to wait for we have to wait for the order. Because so we we're trying to make a order at the local game store. So, like, uh, these boxes. We had to... Uh, I guess sometimes they match, like, face-to-face -face games and everything. But uh, usually, maybe they're, like, 10 bucks. 10 bucks more. Uh, so we, we did uh, try to support the local games or uh, pay like uh, $10 more. Some of them he even like uh, matched the prices on them. We got uh, two boxes here. It's like uh, one of these boxes is going to be going to the collection. Because like I said, we're trying to just try to uh, collect one of each of the boxes here. So originally we picked up one. And we went back to pick up the second one. So we're thinking about opening one of the boxes as well as we have a bunch coming I'm not sure what the uh, sets were uh, I think we're getting Streets of New Capetta Strix Haven Modern Horizons 2 he was sold out of Modern Horizons 3 we wanted to get some uh, Modern Horizons 3 but he he looks like he opened a whole bunch because he had singles and everything and he was just selling them by pack price and it was like 14 bucks a pack uh, I didn't want to get that. That seemed too expensive. Because if you buy a booster box, it's like eleven dollars a pack. Uh, so it's like three dollars more a pack. So maybe we'd be opening this box here. 
like uh, like I was saying, one of these would go here. We got to figure out figure out where do we put these things? Could we maybe store this here? So if we go here, maybe we should actually be putting these at like the uh, cardboard boxes, like we have all the other sealed stuff in, just so it's not uh, exposed to the air and everything here. I guess we put these here. Maybe we'll open one of those. We got like a Elizabeth Drain. We got March of the Machines. We're getting a Pyrexia will be one. That was one of the other ones. We got the Murder, Murder of uh, Car Club Play Boosters. That's what he had in stock there. Uh, so that's our Magic Together Booster Box collection. And everything we picked up. And these. And there's not too much more to talk about, right? Yeah, because all we're going to be doing is just uh, sorting here. We're thinking of making new binders, maybe. Because, uh, like, for all these uh, card fight cards here, it's like we're, we're looking by the uh, set and everything. We realize that there's only, like, uh, 20 commons in each set. In each set. So we go through here. It's like uh, all these uh, common cards. You have them organized by, like, uh, name, I think. What we might do is go through and organize them by a uh, set, maybe. And then we just have a bunch of binders organized by set. I think there's multiple sets here. So we'll reorganize that. Then uh, maybe we'll set up a binder for Magic the Gathering. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's just once you put them in the binders, you're going to have to take them all out again. Uh, should we end the video? Should we just make it a last than 10 minutes? I don't know. That's what we're doing. We uh, came here to sort cards again. Or do we just pause the video? All right, so we got the table cleared off. So we pretty much like, took all those comments over there. And then we just put them in this box. Uh, so they always look really nice there after they're like sleeved up and everything. And then they're like little four count packs. So if you need to see how many copies we get, uh, all you have to do is just count like, how many packs. It's not, it's not like like she's like what what are the uh best cards in the set? There's like so so many good cards, I guess. Um, so besides that, we have these laid out. What we're planning to do was take this like a uh, smaller blanket that we picked up. If we put this here, we just put this over here. So uh, we we're tired. Uh, that was just the hair; it wasn't a spider or anything. So. We're thinking of uh, setting up this blanket here. And if we uh, set up this blanket, then we can maybe sort cards down on here. Because uh, we're, we're getting tired of sorting cards up there. I think like the uh, last time. Actually like, uh, static up there and everything. So I guess this uh, blanket's decently big, so it can cover the whole thing here. And then we got a place to sort cards down here. So, as well... Uh, so if you want like uh open anything or do any videos or anything, the uh, table's clear. So we're probably gonna be doing is sorting all these uncommons here. <laughs> Get all these uncommons sorted. And I think that we have like uh, more uncommons here from the same set. Uh so we so we did put them inside these uh containers here. So we have the um, Sorted by like uh, color, so all we have to do is just go through each of these boxes and then just like uh, sort all the yellow on cop edge, sort all the blue on cop edge, sort the green on cop edge, sort the red on cop edge, uh, then maybe maybe go to that other set there, and then maybe eventually go to the set uh, one to zero five that we keep talking about. So it was only released in like uh, Japan, so I guess it didn't even come to English. <clears throat> so. We have that set up. Okay, so now uh, we have to try to figure out how to fill another minute if we're trying to make a 10 minute video. So maybe we'll sit here and figure this out for a bit. Uh, so that's pretty much all we're doing today, right? All we're going to be doing, we might even do this for the next few days. We might just sit here and sort cards for the next few days to just take a break from Path of Exile and everything. Uh, that's pretty much what it looks like down here, I guess. I guess we could even like uh end the video if we keep talking. Still have this uh box that I don't know if it's uh resealed. It could possibly be resealed because we bought it from that shady person there that was selling it. He didn't care how much he wanted because he got the box for free. So it could could just be a resealed box, but it did feel right. It does feel like have a 
that's how it kind of booster packs and everything. Even if the seeds look completely messed up, it's like a loose and every every single one of these ones is tight. So I, I eventually have to see if this is uh, resealed or anything. Or if, see if it's actual cards in there, see if you got a good deal or see if it got ripped off. I guess that's like well, one of the things. Ah, uh, there we go. Table's empty. Sort of table's down here. So I guess like uh, all, all we pretty much do, we'll, we'll just do a little bit before ending the video here. So we have like our yellow uncommons here. And then we have uh, more yellow uncommons here. So we just have to take these out. Yeah, we have to sit here and organize this thing a little bit. And then eventually, oh yeah, then we have our website here. So this uh, website's going to reference which cards that we need. So we're looking for Azure Lane comments here, right? Then we could sort the, oh, this is 401 games. Uh, if we go to the TCG Republic, we can see all the Azure Lane cards that we just uh, sorted. Yeah, so this is like the uh, number one card that we like looking at the set for some reason. I, I think it's just like uh, well, one of the uh, best cards. Maybe it's just because you get such good uh, behind view or something. Yeah, we do like that one. We have a whole bunch of copies of that card. But here's all the Azure Lane copies here. And if we just uh, hit this button, instead of showing copies, we just make it show all the uncommons here. Then for the uncommons, we could sort it by a card number. Looks like there's 39 uncommons here too. So there's some uh, uh, good uncommons. Like, uh, that one's pretty good. And her, I don't know, I, I don't know if I like this one. I think that's like one of the worst looking ones. I think it just looks awkward for some reason. But there's lots of other good ones, like you, right? I guess uh, all these other ones. Uh, so go through, sort all these. I guess that's a pretty good picture. She's pretty good. Oh yeah, there's this cat out here. I guess the cat's not uncommon. And then we go through the other sets. I was gonna say, like, uh, another one of our favorite cards, if we find it for the set, uh, 105. Oh, that's card fight over there. Yeah, because we're looking at card fight and everything. Yeah, this one. Ah, uh, this, this is definitely one, one of the uh, better ones, too. I think we have some of those ones. I don't know. Anyways. Ah, uh, yeah, we can just use this list here. So we end the video pretty soon, but essentially we have, like, uh, all these that were, like, uncommons here. And then, uh, where was the next set? Was it, like, uh, 122? Yes, this one. We also have to sort this set here. So I might, might, might try to, uh, sort these three sets. It does have the bathing suit girl. We do know that one. We do know that. Uh, see how we're just gonna be using this website as a reference to uh, sort everything. Maybe we can even keep this picture up there. We just stare at her while we're sorting cards or something. Uh, but, anyways, here's all the as it related on comments. And eventually, you should have them in these petty sleeves here. And eventually, eventually, we should eventually have all this uh, way sorts organized here. Uh, then organize magic, then Pokemon, then eventually Yu-Gi-Oh. I know we have Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We just have to go through and organize them. I, I think these two boxes are pretty much just like all the Yu-Gi-Oh we have. I think we sold like uh, all the bulk and everything. Uh, yes, that's it. Sorting, sorting cards again.